Welcome to Happy Crappy Paints, part 3, where I paint Amra the Lion. That's the end result after we're done. Amra the Lion was uh, a lot more difficult to c than Conan to paint. Here's the color reference and also a reminder to use a white primer uh, for humans with lots of skin color. I always prefer using white. Uh, in those instances when you have uh, a skin color to paint on the mini. I'm speeding up some of these uh, clips because uh, Amra took a long time to paint so to uh, reduce the time of the video to my target which is about 15 minutes I didn't achieve it, it ended up being uh, slightly over 20 I um, have actually cut out some of the footage of uh, uh, the painting I'm doing um, here's the first layer of uh, Kislev Flash for the skin. The sandals were very tricky to paint. Um, some detail on the on the sandals are hard to see, um, so it took a little while for me to actually find where the skin was actually supposed to show through. Where, where the detail was a little bit lost on one end of the foot but not the other and so on um, so be careful there adding a second layer Kislev Flash Steel Legion Drab, I I used that warded a lot to create a similar effect as a shade. Uh, if you look closely on the picture of Amra, uh, the there's a very light colored leather underneath the silver plating on the armor. Uh, so I decided to use Steel Legion Drab, uh, uh, very warded, to uh, to allow it to. Uh, getting on in, in the, all the details in between the steel plates. Turned out quite okay. I, I ended up just having the one layer too to let the white uh, help lighten the, the color. Uh, I added some steel legion to the same watered mix I had to start to paint the, uh, the sandals. The sandals were very tricky. I had to go back and correct, do corrections. Uh, you'll see that in a little bit. I kept some of that footage uh, with a with, with a a triple zero uh, brush, adding uh, Kislev and Steel Legion uh, to the different areas um, to cover the white completely. This took a long time, though. Here you can see that I'm constantly going back to the details of the sandal on the foot to uh, to make the lines straighter or the, the leather bands straighter rather and I'm, I'm constantly seeing tiny little pieces of white showing through which annoys me. actually made quite a few mistakes here. Uh, I haven't kept the footage where I had to go in and add Kislev Flash many many times over when I missed with a, with a brush. Uh, using uh, the same uh, color for the armbands, so uh, Steel Legion Drab again. It's 
It's always a good idea to, when you have a mini like this with a weapon, to do the weapon last, because you're going to accidentally hit it with your brush uh, multiple times. Here you can see, like I said before, me coming back multiple times to do corrections with Kislev Flash, where I missed with the uh, brown. Then adding back some brown again, where I <laughs> accidentally dabbed it with a Kislev. Mephisto on red is a really nice red cloth color. Um, the Citadel red shade uh, that you're supposed to use with uh, with Mephisto on uh, is also very good. They uh, complement each other very well to make a natural red cloth color when it dries. I don't show it all the. Uh, I don't think I show it. Have shown it yet, but I am uh, adding a little bit water uh, every time for all the colors I'm using. Just the smallest drop of water to make it flow better, uh, uh, meaning getting into the details without filling up the details of the mini. And uh, sometimes it, it's going to make you have to paint multiple layers. Sometimes not. Red uh, covers nicely. So I didn't need to add a second layer there. Uh, Mornfang Brown, I used that for the belt and also on the armor. The little de leather details on the armor there. Uh, to, to make it stick out a little bit from the rest of the armor on Amra. Used lead belcher for the armor, for the uh, the pieces in the armor. Be careful here not to get any silver into into uh, the recesses of the armor, especially if you like me uh, got rid of the uh, the mix that you had. It's easy enough to to do again. It's just water and steel legion if you make mistakes here, but uh, that mix is is. Uh, it's quite uh, thin, so it won't cover the silver if you make mistakes here. So pay a little extra attention when you're painting the the um, steel pieces on the armor. There's some tricky parts over the shoulders and some parts uh, underneath the arms where it's kind of tricky to see whether it's supposed to be a steel plate or not. Uh, I cut some of that footage out because I was holding my hands strangely so you couldn't it didn't actually show uh, what I was doing so I cut a little, little bit there back so this is what it looks like when I'm done uh, here I've also uh, maybe not showing but I I didn't paint the actual metal pieces on the leather straps on the armor I saw that much later and I, I did that but I didn't shoot the footage so here here you can see that if you pay attention that uh, leather straps on the front of the armor, the actual metal there is not painted but it's going to be subtly just be painted uh, in, a little bit, in a little bit. Here I'm mixing green with Averland Sunset and Caledon Sky like I've done in the Shogoth videos if you've seen those. Um, I ended up not shading the green cloth. Uh, I could have added uh, a little bit of grey to 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 some of the dark areas and maybe some white f to highlight at the edges of the tops of the green cloth. I didn't do that because uh, I wanted to get done. It took a long time to do this mini uh, anyway. Um, but that's something you sh certainly can do and I, I probably would have done if I had the patience.
for the hair I used steely and drab because it, his hair looks a little brown on the on the uh, in the images in the game just a tiny little smidge of Abaddon and then a, a, a big drop of water to make it uh, almost like a wash so that uh, the brown uh, and on the white shows through the brown t on the very tops of the strands of the hair uh, save some time not having to ba go back and highlight highlight the, the tops of the strands of the hair I'm also later on going to use null oil to darken the recesses of the hair it's an okay result but uh, certainly could go and add some white to steel legion and uh, paint some highlights in the in the uh, hair adding the uh, steel legion to the same mix I had used for the the hair uh, for the handle to the axe just to get a little different shade of brown again for the wooden handle so it won't all be the same shades of brown There's some tricky spots here on the the hand. I also here didn't see that there's a second handle that's supposed to be black. So I'm going back in a little while, so you'll see soon, to just paint that handle black inside the hand. So I spent some time there by mistake by making it brown. I added uh, lots of Abaddon to that brown mix. The intention here was to to make it a, a very very dark leathery look. Uh, it didn't really work. Um, so, you could go just pure Abaddon black here if you'd like. And then here I, I noticed that there was a second handle. So it's a two-handed two axe. So I painted over the brown that I did before. Lead belcher for the chain. It's a little tricky uh, since he's gra grabbing the chain, the links of the chain, to not get any lead belcher on the on the hand. Also, lead belcher for the axe blade. Lead Belcher is a base color that's quite thick, so don't use a lot of paint uh, on your brush because uh, it will it will fill in the details. Uh, I don't have a gold color, so I'm mixing Fire Dragon Bright with Avalan Sunset to get a little bit of a uh, an orange gold uh, color for the lion on his belt buckle, the lion head. Also used the gold for the amulet around his neck and then for the headband. That same uh, mix that I made there. The headband is, is very tricky uh, as well. I, I made the mistake here to to not have any of the color left. Um, uh, you can see that some of the strands of hair is uh, going over the golden headband in the back of his head, at the back of his head there. You can see I'm making mistakes all over here. I'm tired and shaky. So I, I, I had to uh, to actually go back and redo re the mix of Abaddon and Steel Legion uh, to paint, that, paint those things over. See, I made a huge blob there of gold. Horrible. I didn't shoot uh, the footage when I did the corrections, but you can see here that I, I did correct the mistakes I made there. Um, using uh, an Administratum Grey and Abaddon Black to create a, a darker shade of, uh, of grey. When you're purchasing, purchasing colors, you don't have to buy the exact shade of grey you need. You just buy a, a lighter shade of, of grey and then mix it with Abaddon to the, to the shade you need. 
so you can cut down on the number of colors you need to buy. We shop the bone for his necklace. And the fun part, the uh, shading. This is now, this is when the minis are really coming out and uh, getting that uh, detail to make them look really good. So shading is, is the fun part. I did cut away some of the footage here in the interest of speed. So Agrix Earth Shade for the leather parts, including the uh, the belt around his waist. I didn't use any Agrax on the on the armor because I wanted it to be really light brown. And since I watered the Steel Legion a lot when I painted it, it have has already pulled nicely in the crevices in the fabric in the back for example so it looks really good anyway so I didn't need to go back and add a shade for that also using Agrax for the armbands and like I said before for the uh, belt as well uh, Caribou Crimson is the red shade I can really recommend uh, Mephiston Red and Caribou Crimson. It's, uh, when I don't have a color reference on painting minis, I uh, I tend to use uh, this because it looks really good and it's very easy and fast to do. Uh, this shade also helps painting or getting the uh, contour or the edge between the fabric and the armor uh, covered up. So if you made some a few mistakes there, it, that covers that up nicely. Null oil for the axe and for the chain. I went and actually added uh, two layers to the chain to get it really nice and dark, and uh, two layers to the axe, then one layer of null oil for the hair to bring out some of the details, uh, make the recesses darker on the hair. Shouldn't technically have have painted the gold band around his head before doing the shading um, so if you make mistakes here you have to mix re remix some gold and go back and fix it so ideally you should have shaded the hair first before painting the gold band it's easy, easier to go back and correct the hair with uh, brown and then shade Null oil also for the stone to bring out some of the details in the in the stone. Doesn't have a lot of detail, but uh, a few. So null oil helps to bring a little character back up to the stone. Here you can see my second layer to the chain. Rune fang steel for the uh, steel pieces of his armband, Amra's armband. I don't think I have footage here for the, but Amra actually has earrings as well. So earrings, uh, I painted those silvers uh, as well. And uh, I also added uh, some rune fang steel to the edge of the axe. And also on uh, the bolts on the axe. Made some mistakes here with the rune fang, so I had to go back and add some lead belcher back to it and then add some extra shading. So you can see I'm adding lead belcher back to th to the little cracks in the axe or the dents in the axe. Let's bring some of the details back. I decided to paint the teeth on the lion. Um, actually easier than I thought uh, to make a tiny little white um, thing there for the lion teeth. It doesn't show a lot but uh, if you look carefully you can see small little tiny teeth there. This is very, very much an optional thing to do. And the um, the eyes, of course, difficult as, as always. Um, managed to, for some random reason, to get them to look quite good on, on Amra. Here I, I some again missed some footage. I went with Kisla Flash to paint some of the white away around the edges to get a good shape to the eyes. Here I am using um, uh, a brown to add some 
detail to the eye sockets to for the lion head and also Everland sunset uh, to the top of the lion head to bring some of the light gold light yellow uh, on the gold to bring some of that detail um, dry brushing the stone uh, is the I think last step on this mini um, use, a, use very little paint when dry brushing um, less than you think that shouldn't really be any paint on the brush when you do dry brushing and then uh, painting the base black it's the next to final step I decided to to um, add a little tuft of grass to this base by the stone uh, since we had a little bit of scenery there I thought why not add a little bit of, of grass to there this is uh, something that I bought from Citadel lasts a long time so a, a, um, a set of grass tufts will last a very long time all right that's it thanks for uh, watching that's Amra the lion <laughs>